Hello all. Welcome to the Security Tube iOS Security Expert course and certification. In this video, we will look at another important tool in our pen test arsenal called Class Dump Z. Now, what is this tool exactly? Now, if you remember in module one, when we were going ahead and programming using the MVC uh, paradigm, I had shown you a lot of files, uh, the .h files where we were mentioning uh, things like property names and stuff like that. Now the class dump z file, uh, class dump z application allows us to dump class information in an iOS application. This can come in very very handy because iOS applications uh, are written in Objective C and Objective C being a dynamically typed language the class information is completely embedded in it. This along with the fact that Apple actually encourages developers uh, to go ahead and give names of the functions, methods, classes in a very descriptive way can reveal a lot of interesting things about the application. Now class dump itself is available via Cydia however it's an old one and what we are going to do is we will download this from this specific link. Now class dump z will be used extensively in the next module where we will play around with scikit and gdb and see what all we can do. So this is basically the code.google page from where you can download class dump z. I'm going to download the latest one. I'm going to go inside my iPhone make a directory called temp wget and I'm going to download the file to atar xlf and if you notice the one we are interested in is the iPhone arm v61 now this is already signed with ldit and hence there is no requirement for signing it further what we can do is we can just copy this out to uh, wherever you'd like let's say user bin is one possibility and now we have class dump z available to do interesting things now what can we really do with this so to give you an example class dump z uh, let's pick up an application which comes installed via Apple right and let's dump all the class information right there you go let me open up this file and if you notice there seems to be a ton of interesting thing inside the file right uh, and if you look at a couple of these this says calc keypad view delegate touch up on pad, cancel, display view delegate. Uh, there seems to be a lot of interesting method names which make you feel as if you have some idea about what may be happening inside the application. Right? Uh, and this is what we are going to see later on in the next module about how we can do runtime analysis using all of this information in these class files. Now, an important thing to note is by default, iOS applications are encrypted. Uh, these are the ones you download from the App Store and install. However, the ones which come installed via Apple do not have encryption in them. And that's why we were able to dump the class information in such an easy way. For applications which we install via the App Store, we would first need to decrypt the applications and then use a tool like class dump z to dump the class information. We will look at all of this in the next module and I'm sure that module is going to be extremely fun and enjoyable. Thank you very much.